everybody in here sitting out in the chicken coop having my coffee this morning and yeah it's just gonna be a chicken day a look around at things day um, I've got that garden bed broken down mostly but there's something out there growing that I want to show you that is just it's so funny I just can't even believe it so yeah it's just gonna be kind of a chill video like always I gotta show you guys something that's just making me laugh see that plant right there there's another one there. And then there's some more here. They kind of look like tomato plants to me. I didn't plant tomatoes here. So I don't know, maybe a critter ate one of the other tomatoes and came and deposited the seeds here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna let them grow, see what happens. Look at that, you guys. It's a spider. And it looks like it's got all its babies on its back. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Hey, spider. Oop. Yep, tons of babies. I don't know how many hundreds they, of babies. I wonder if they like frogs, chickens. I don't know. All I know is this is one heck of a mama spider. I'm gonna leave it. Wow, this kind of caught me by surprise. I've got another one of these over by the shed. Look at that pretty spider. I used to have these in my garden. I don't remember exactly what they are. Um. I don't know. I don't think it'll go in the coop, do you? It won't go inside the van. I think I'm just going to leave it and watch it and see what happens. Look at it. Here's the other spider. This one is about half the size of the other one, but I just wanted you to see the coloring on its back. They are so gorgeous and they build the most beautiful, huge webs. So yeah, I just kind of leave them alone, unless it's a black widow spider. Good morning, girls. You ready to come out? All right. Let's get your day started. Aww. <laughs> and looky here. Two new additions. The lovely Miss Donna B sent these to me and I've got them all filled up. I am so relieved to have these. I really needed something bigger that could feed a whole bunch of hens <laughs> that I don't have to worry about you know, refilling, you know, every every day or so. So I've got these set up. Uh, that holds about a little over six pounds of food. This holds 1.6 gallons of water. So I've got a little bit of apple cider vinegar in that as well because I haven't given them that in a, in a couple days. And I cooked them some scrambled eggs. And of course, they will go right to the scrambled eggs. There's also some cornmeal there's some oats in there, and there's some eggshells. I give them eggshells every once in a while. But look at, there's always one that's just kind of off, off by herself. I bet you that's Patsy. Anyhow, these, this water and feeder are so awesome. Ah, thank you so much, Donna. Now it's time to feed the little chickens their little breakfast. Let's see if I can get up here without falling. Hello, beautiful birds. All right, let me get this door closed and I'm gonna let them out. I think I'll just sit this right here for them. And here we go, cute baby chickens. There you go, you can get out. Nummies. Now they don't get this every morning. This is just a treat. But they love it. Yeah, they're gonna get a big piece and chase each other around. They should know there's plenty enough for all of them. Oh, they're so cute. They're getting so big. Alrighty, I'm going to open up the windows and the back door, and I'm just going to keep them in the van for a little while because I can't supervise them right now. I've got some other stuff i got to do. So they'll be perfectly happy in here until they're ready to come outside. I don't think so. Look at that. Right above the coop. And he keeps getting closer and closer. We got the little girls out. What? We've only got three? There's the other ones. 
Here they come. Hi, girls. Hello. Oh, yeah, they know right where the food is. That's so sweet. All right, I'm going to move this food thing out of the way a little bit. All right, that, that one bird over there has a big piece of an earthworm. I don't know why I find this so amusing, but when they chase each other, it just cracks me up. It's like, look what I got. You can't have it. I got it. It's all mine. I'm not going to share it. Yeah, it'll peck it apart and eat it eventually. I've seen those leghorns get big earthworms, and they just slurp them down like it's pasta, like it's spaghetti. It's so cute. Oh, this one right here has been pestering these little chickens. Look at that. Mike. No. Don't be mean. Yeah, there's like two, two leghorns. These two that are out here that have been pestering these chickens. So yeah, they're definitely not ready to be left alone. No. And then there's two leghorns in the van. They're just up there chilling out in the van. But these two, see, look it. I have to supervise, at least for a couple more weeks, because these leghorns are mean right now. Whew. Looks like Judy has some new friends. Huh. She doesn't know how to make friends very well. That's Remington over there. And this is Lulu. They're Cody's dogs. They came over for a visit. Let's see how this goes. Maybe it'll go well. If it goes well, maybe they'll come back. <laughs> See, Judy, they know Judy's limits. Too funny. Too funny. Oh, check this out, you guys. I went over to Mr. Lucas for a little visit, had a little Budweiser, and kind of was sitting and chilling. And, and then off in the distance in his beautiful, perfectly manicured lawn, I see this beautiful mushroom, and I'm just going to show it to you. Just real quick, okay? It's gorgeous. <sighs> okay. Oh. These bugs are still biting me. Another beer and uh, sitting in the counter. I'll get y'all one. All right. But uh, make sure you close the lid back. Make sure you close it. This is one heck of a mushroom. Would you just look at that? I think we're going to just keep this one very short today. <laughs> Judy's tangled up. I got to go go untangle her, uh, and I need to just basically supervise the integration of this flock because, I don't know, today it was really rough. There was one of the leghorns that just kept going after the chickens over and over again. So, and it wasn't even the biggest leghorn, so I don't know. I think it'll, it'll work out, but uh, they just need more time, and these baby chicks are definitely just too small to leave out with the leghorns all the time. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, keep them separate at night, and if I'm going to have them all out in this yard together, then I am just going to have to sit here and supervise. But, yeah, it's working out, and all the chickens seem happy, and... They're just growing. They're growing like weeds. So I'm having the time of my life right now. You you guys have no idea how much fun I'm having. You know, a lot of people who raise chickens are so used to it. Um, and maybe I'll get to the point where it's like no big deal. But each day is like a new adventure with these beautiful, beautiful creatures. And uh, I just love watching them. So anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.